What? What'd you call me for? I brought... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Where'd you steal this thing from? <laughs> My garage. Out of your garage? Yeah, yeah. You didn't knock over some seven-year-old kid in the <laughs> back right, of the well, head? Come on, man. It's it, Friday. I'm busy. What do well, you want? Well, I can want? tell an old man owns it because look at the wheels yeah. on it. Dude, yeah. stock. Old stock. man tan interior, bro. All right. Well, I, I stole a car today. What? What? You? Nothing I expensive. I stole you a car. Just a Volkswagen. What? Volkswagen, a lot of Bondo, and probably more Bondo than uh, metal, but... Uh, Good, guy did a great job. You gotta come and see it. Bro, you called me up here for a Volkswagen? All 90 horsepower. Oh, God. All right. All right. Ready? Oh, man. <laughs> Where did you get this? It's a Volkswagen. That's not a Volkswagen, bro. Farfignugan, my man. Farfignugan. Yeah. Bro, this is a GT2 RS. Where did you get it? Well, Dan Ooh. Harvey races for TPC. Yeah. This is his personal car. He's got a cup car, but this is his personal one. And uh, and he gave this to you. He gave it to me. Uh, you're gonna wash and wax it because I promised him a detail, okay. and I had a detail of Ferrari. I so guess, now you gotta. I guess. I, I guess. Pay back so you know what. So wait, this guy's comfortable giving us two idiots a four hundred thousand dollar car to go beat up. Well, I, hang on. I didn't say we were idiots. I left that out. <laughs> so the two morons, idiots. Yeah, okay, I, right. I, I'm sure he's probably. I think he's still in bed. Maybe he's sleeping. Wow, I'm itching. This is sick. Sick. Well, let's come on and take a look at this one because uh, this got some modifications to it. It does. Yes. Okay. Uh, the body is all stock. The Hydra did a small tune on it. Got about all the 60, 70 horsepower. I know the car from the factory has 700 horsepower. Yeah. Zero 060 and 2.7. What? And a quarter of a mile in 10.5. In stock form. In stock form. Now. Well they tuned it. Yeah. Did 0, 060 and 2.4 in the quarter mile. Are you ready for this? Why? 10 1. Come on. Still has a cats in it. And I'm sure if they took the cats out of oh, it, it'll probably a, go be in a the nine, nine second car all day. So. Bro, look at the carbon on this car. This is unbelievable. Yeah. So listen, personally, I'm not a 911 fan. That's not really my gig, but this is gnarly. Window stick. Are you ready for this? Yeah, what's the stick on it? 340 and change. 340. It's, the, it's got every option possible. Huh. And the roof is carbon fiber. And the wheels, the roof and the wheels come together. Yeah. Um, I think it, that's called that WISAC package. Yeah, and I think it was $18,000. Yeah. <laughs> and the rims, I've been told they're between five and eight pounds lighter than the factory ones or the standard ones. So this isn't even a lighter car. It's got the lift in the front, and then the interior, we'll get into that in a moment, but... Um, 3,200 pounds with 36 pounds more of unsprung weight. This thing's gotta be a, just a monster. All right, so show me around this thing. All right, so I guess, I, actually the bad part about this is, yeah. I love to show you the motor. Yeah, where yeah. is it? It's in the back, we all know that. <laughs> yeah. If I open the damn thing, Yeah. There's nothing to see. Let's see. Pop it. I, see. You're better off looking inside a refrigerator and get it. Is that right? You get more entertainment out of a refrigerator than open this thing. <laughs> oh, let's open it. Okay. Okay. All right, so what are we looking at? Unfortunately, um, the excitement of these cars on the outside, because this body has been made since 70, well, actually in the 60s. Yeah, long and, time. Um, but I know it's probably a foot and a half wider from the ones in the 60s and oh, 70s. Sure. So that I like. But if you um, can't even pop the hood on the McLaren, this you can, but this looks like the back of a refrigerator. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's about the excitement you're gonna get with this thing. But you can't insult it because it's doing so much. Yeah. Uh, all 700 horsepower, maybe, maybe 760 now from Hydra. Um, yeah, but that's it, you know. Um, so here's what I'm seeing. You want me to tell you what I see? What do you see? These are two intakes. Correct. Okay. These are extractor fans. Correct. So what's really neat about all this stuff is if we close this back up, right? All of these scoops, come here, cameraman. All of these scoops are very functional. So the air comes over the back of the car, feeds your intakes directly into the filter and then back into the engine. And then these extractor fans, can you get a shot up over that? The extractor fans in the hole in the middle are gonna pull any excess heat right out and right out the back of the car. So the engineering of this thing is absolutely out of control and Porsche's been building 911s for 
50, 60 years now. 75 year anniversary. 75 year? I don't even yeah, know. I'm not a Porsche guy. I don't know. Well, uh, Cars and Coffee had a 75 year, uh, I think it was a 70 year, I'm sorry. Uh, but right here is the other vent, and I guess this is the air that's getting um, taken out. So if it goes yep. in, and it, I guess any built up air passes through. Yep, sucks it right out the sucks back. Sucks it right out. So take a look at all the other functional scoops. Come here, cameraman, take a look. Here's one. All right? A big old heat extractor because that's where the exhaust and the turbo's mounted. We now come around the side. The, be the biggest, coolest part of this is the front. Look at the size of the openings for the heat exchangers. I mean, that's unbelievable. Those two side ones, are, they look like to be 20 inches wide. Gigantic. You know, I'm going to make a good point about this one. This is plastic, not carbon fiber. So when you hit it, you don't spend 12 grand fixing 12, it. 12,000 But I'm not sure how much that thing is a new one. But Quite I, a bit, I'm assuming. Yeah, but it's not the same price yeah, as the Yeah, the, the airflow is amazing. And then you have these louvered vents up top, which are also functional, right? It's going to take dissipate the heat from the brakes. I think that feeds some other cooling stuff. I, like I said, I don't know enough about No, no, that's sucking the air out for the brakes. Yep. And then that one on the side. This brings it into the turbos and the intercooler. Uh, in Just the like back. the McLaren, I think it has four radiators. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm for 700 horsepower out of this guy. It's got to have maximum cooling. Well, let's go back in the car again. Is there something I want to show yeah, yeah, you, cool. which I really think is kind of funny. I'm going to put my hands on this glass. Okay. Now, glass shouldn't do this, should it? What the hell? What are you doing, man? <laughs> you ever see glass flex? Why is it doing that? That's how light it is. Wow. Is that black sand? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, from um, the factory. From okay. the factory, of course. Feel that. Look, how light is that? Well, if you notice, it's not just a carbon look. It's in the inside. That's ah, a true carbon piece. That's one, one giant piece of carbon. And I, I like this because you get your own row with this car. <laughs> uh, I, can you put this on a t-shirt? Yeah, I want that. There you go. How's that? Race <laughs> oh, check. Take a look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yes. This, this is something that's really cool. Carbon fiber tank. And it's curious because it says only distilled water. So I asked the owner, what, what is that for? And it's actually an intercooler sprayer that comes stock from the factory, which is something that we, I did when I modified my McLaren to yes. add methanol water injection to the intake to cool the charge and all that stuff. This car comes stock with that. That's unbelievable. Dude, this thing, I cannot wait to take this out for well, a ride. Well, if you're in South Florida, this is what we all need. Yeah. It, they just run too hot. Here. You want to take a look at the inside or what? Yeah. Oh, dude. Look at, dude, the first thing you notice when you open the doors is how the door sills light up. The door still light up for you on that side? Yes. But also, you should, know, you should notice the heavy-duty door handle for closing the door. It's right here. All in the name of weight savings. There's no nothing. It's just a strap of nylon. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky it's not my car. Would, it, it, you just have duct tape. <laughs> I don't, man. It's, it's all in the name of weight. What is a normal 911 turbo uh, I weigh? think they're 3,600 pounds, about four, 500. Four or five hundred pounds uh, less. That's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah Take a look less. at the Alcantara. That's part of the YSAC package that this thing has. It's a full carbon uh, race seat. Um, Manual, no power motors, no nothing. I do like the floor mats. <laughs> the, the, yeah. Just in case you forget what you're driving. Yeah. Just in case. So it's actually pretty neat. Let's, you want to hop in? I kind of want to see if my butt fits in that seat. Oh, uh, you want to bet who's. Should we time you? How long My is ass is way bigger than yours, man. All right, go ahead. Good luck. All right, all right. Let it's going to hurt. Let me give it a shot. Get it's going to hurt. Get in the other side. Oh, wow. Oh, it actually hugs the booty. It, oh, hugs yeah. it, it hugs it real good. So check it out. He showed me where the seat adjusters are. Yes. If you reach in front of you, and you can pull it up. And then the steering wheel is actually manual as well. So there's a switch underneath, up, down. This is all the adjustment you get. But you lock her back down and wow. I mean, these are actually really comfortable. Okay, first thing I notice here is the shifty paddles. Tiny. But attached to the steering wheel. See, unlike the Ferrari we did. 
Well, I'm glad all the options right? are not on this thing. Now uh, I know. They're probably in normal places, so we can figure it out. Right, right. We'll be able to figure this one out. Do we have the key? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, we, we actually do have the key right here. Perfect. So, again, for, for, for this, just to turn the accessories on, you know, everything lights up nice, nice amber color, real cool. Yeah. You got your auto. I just filmed the headlights. The, head, yeah, the headline is fantastic. The Alcantara. It's Alcantara every, everything in here is Alcantara. Alcantara. Yeah, so there's no plastic in this one. None. Maybe. Well, wow, just, well, no, this is wrapped. This is all wrapped in leather. Yeah, leather. It's leather. Mm-hmm. Now he was telling me the chrono, the chronograph up here in the middle section, the color of that is actually an option. <laughs> right. Uh, you know what? I think the seat belts being red. That's an option too. Is an option. Mm -hmm. The stitching this, in the seat. This here, option. You see this? And the shift column, option. It's a highly, highly option car, guys. It's got almost every option. I can't right. think of one that's missing. No, well, what's nice about this is it's very intuitive, right? It's not like that Ferrari where you had to guess where everything is at, right? Pretty straightforward. Your cruise control is here. You, you, your signals are where they're supposed to be, right? Your wiper stock is where it's supposed to be. You know, your, your climate control is where it's all supposed to be. It's very, very driver focused, very so driver centric. So let me get this straight. Yeah. So for the car as simple as this one will take you what? A week to figure it out? A week, it gets, we just did. It, it, I know, but for you it's a week. What are you talking about? I mean, you go eight, eight days, but that Ferrari? Man, 12 minutes. 12 minutes? Yeah, yeah. that Ferrari will take you a month. Yeah. Figure out where everything well, is. Well, this video at. is only 20 minutes long, so we already learned everything in 20 minutes. That's true. Yeah, that's true. So, all right, you want to? I want. I want to hear it. You want to hear, hear it? it? Start it up. See what the. All right, cool. All right, oh man. my God, bro! What you think of that? That's unbelievable. Oh, how do you get out of this thing? Oh, that was oh. that ballet didn't go. Oh, well, oh, it, right in the butt, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't matter how you get out. It's how it feels when you're in it. But oh my God. Yeah. Why would you do anything? Why do you even drop the cats in this car? You don't even need to. You don't have to. Unless That's you want more power. The difference in that sound when you hit the exhaust flaps is. Uh, that's I'm astonished. Can you feel it in the car? I, I don't know. We haven't driven it. All right. I bet you can. Well, I guess the best thing now is before Dan wakes up, uh, we should go take it for a ride. Come All on. Right. Let's go. Follow us. First thing I noticed is that I'm sitting real low to the ground. And the dash is almost at my eyes. Yeah. I feel short in this thing. <laughs> well, he, he, the owner said that he had custom angle brackets built. So yep. you sit at more of a back angle for when he's actually racing the car so his helmet doesn't interfere with the angle of his head. So yeah, very low. But, I mean, it sounds awesome, man. I wish it wasn't wet out because this thing, Yeah. Is it's trying to kill you. So it's, if I shut this off, we'll get quieter? Yep. But you do hear the road noise. Yeah. Well, I'll have to ask if the, how much insulation is on the floor, but I might have, they might have taken it out I would, for sound reasons. I would bet not a lot. Yeah, these cars don't. This is made for the track, so it doesn't 100%. have the insulation in it. And the brakes are hard as a rock. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to give that a... The seats are comfortable. I'm shocked. I never driven with the seats. I just seen guys in rallies with the two of them with Lamborghinis sitting on pillows they took from their <laughs> from their from their couch. No, I, I seriously, this is really comfy. Can you touch the uh, the end of the floor? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, five eleven. I don't. I think I'm all the way back too. 
yet. Nope. All right, dude, you would, you'd fit. Yeah, I got a oh, good. You know what? I got a solid five inches of space. Okay, back there. this car's weight, the seat goes back more than I need it to. Way back. What are you like, six five? two? Just shy of six two, to be honest. You're an Amazon, bro. We're supposed to take the left here. Yeah, yeah. you're good. Another illegal turn. Who cares? Oh well. See, it's, it's, it's trying to kill us. <laughs> You're not even quarter throttle, are you? Nope. That just happened. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> it, 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 you don't notice what's behind us is the chase vehicle, and you can't see it. No, and they're no, gone. That 18 wheel of the Volvo is not our chase vehicle. Two little pin dots, and yeah. you're not even in it. No, you can't go in it because it just wants to break loose. Problem with the Michelins. Bad, this. bad wet. When they're wet, they're cold. When they're cold, no traction. No bueno. No, no. I mean, that, so, on, no, well, no, it does add it an RPM. I was talking so about. So it still opens up with the RPM. Yep, yep. The It'll open up open it. it. Sounds the same. Same. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? That let's go. Well, that's the suspension. I wonder what did that okay, change? Okay, now I have chassis normal. Yeah, I have it on country club mode. Feels a little more. Now I understand. Yeah, it's not as actually. You know what? You could drive this car. Not as rigid. Yeah, this it's is a little you louder. Could, yeah, yeah, a little bit, but. You could daily it. Well, there's no twisty roads here. Welcome to Florida. Yeah. There's no mountain backs, uh, scissor backs over here to drive. North, south, so. east, west. It's all you get. You want to drive it? Yeah, sure. Give it a shot. It's the first time driving one? Yeah. Yeah, you're in for a treat because it's so much in here. It's like having the best meal you can. It's like having the best bowl of soup and someone give you <laughs> Uh, uh, a fork to eat it with. A fork to eat it with. Yeah, yeah that's actually that's the that's best exactly. way. I don't say the small spoon, but it's a tablespoon, but small than the tablespoon. That's like getting a big gulp and trying to suck it through a cocktail uh, straw. straw, and just exactly yeah, what it is... feels like today. Awful. If he's going, we're going. Yeah, yeah, we're off. All right. Uh, yep. It just, it begs, just it begs for throttle. Yeah. Oh, this rain is ruining my day. We're going to have to get back with this dude, man. Oh, this steering decimates. <laughs> That's awesome. So my face. You're going to lose it. <laughs> it's trying to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why a lot of guys think they buy a Porsche. They're going to be great on the track. No, you're not. Uh, no, nope. yeah. no way. Oh, d dude, it's, it's too cold. The tires won't heat up. They're too wet. I mean, but now imagine this on a dry pavement, bro. We'd be doing a hundred. That's like, why I prefer to have the all-wheel drive. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not what this was made for. This was made for the track. Oh, hear that open up? Now it's just open. Oh. <laughs> It is literally, oh my God. I can feel it. No turbo lag whatsoever. No. None. No. There's a twin turbo. I don't yeah. know one smaller than the other. How do they no, do it? No, no, no. There's Par a valve in each one. They're parallel. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's got the variable vein technology on it, but yeah. this is sick. Yeah, it's not even in sport mode. Just the exhaust just is open. Regular shit. Let's go to. It just gets louder. Sport selected. Oh, no, what are you doing? Okay, all right, PDK That's where you had it. Somebody's calling us. Is that? I don't know. Oh, my God. That's 80. From 40 to 80 in... A second and a half. I mean, it's not even trying. We're at, like, 3,000 <laughs> RPM. This is absurd. I mean, come on, man. I mean, the steering is just... Yeah, I don't know what's worse, the braking or the left, the right on it? 
Powell's brakes are outstanding, dude. That's why I don't eat before I film. No, you shouldn't. Well, we're back. It's nice and dry. We apologize for the weather. Well, it rained. I can't help you on that one. But anyways, uh, these things just don't do well in the rain. And the uh, cup tires, the, uh, the Michelin's on are just, when it's cool out, they're terrible. Actually, they're dangerous. So if you're in New England, this is going to be things that's going to be horrible for you. But Johnny Bomber Proving Grounds, this car, 212 miles an hour. Check out this video. And this is, can tell you what the car really can do. Check it out. All right, we're back. What'd you think of that? Nice dry day over there. Um, that's up in, what part of Florida is that up in there? That's where they land the space shuttle. Yeah, I'm gonna it's say three and a half miles, perfectly level from front to back. You can't beat it. It's about the safest place you can go that type of speed. Other than that, if you screw up there, just stay off the road. So how's that? <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Well, so, yeah, at the end, obviously at the end of every single one of these uh, car reviews, we give it a score. So, um, I'll be honest with you, Judith. I feel like <laughs> I just cheated it will, death yeah. uh, more than once out there. And it's not like pouring out, guys. It's just like a light mist. Light mist. And this car is trying to rip your face off. It's yeah. trying to kill you. Yeah, so I guess you gave it a five in power? No, I got a 10 because a 10. It, it's 700 horsepower underfoot, twin turbo. It, it, it's almost indescribable. Like you're, as you put input into the throttle, you, it's like warp speed. As you put pressure to the throttle, the car just goes. It's begging you to just floor me. Go, 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 go. It just wants to, it wants to kill you. I'm going to go with motion sickness on this one. <laughs> so, I mean, the power on it's unbelievable. We knew that um, from reading up on the car and people who have owned it, but now being in the car. Just experiencing it is completely different than reading about it. Like, you can read about numbers all you want, but this is devastating. It's a devastating car. Now, the handling on this one. Oh, what'd you give it for power? Well, for power, I gave it a 10. Yeah. Gave it a 10 for handling. Ah, oh, come on. It, you're not going to outhandle this. Uh, on a wet track, yes, but a dry one, it's, it's all over. So, uh, you know, in Florida, most of the time, well, it rains here and there, but this thing was phenomenal yeah, you on the can't, handling. You, you can't really, we can't give it a... Give it 11, we, maybe. We, but. Well, but, but the point is this, we, it was wet out, right? So yeah. we couldn't do like crazy things like we did with the Ferrari, but you can, you can still feel it. The steering input is direct and perfect and it's the just perfect amount of weight to the steering and, and like and again we're judging this in a wet environment oh he I was can't even imagine this on a dry environment it's it's so i got a 10 for handling as well yes yeah. i don't it's know just, i'm not sure if i want to go out because it was just too much i mean it's yeah i either gotta drive it i can't be in the passenger seat because that was just a killer now here's the problem with these two guys yeah we're not porsche fans not and him. I'll tell you why. Yeah. You might get mad at me. You can send all the nasty emails, <laughs> text messages, whatever you want to do, send them, send them, send them. Because I remember these cars in the 80s. They all looked the same. 
The 90s all looked the same. They never improved anything. You've spent all this money and the interior looked nothing like a luxury car or any type of car and they still haven't changed all that much. Now, is it functional? Yes. Is the technology in this car fantastic? Yes. Does Porsche build a better car than everyone else? Absolutely. This is probably the best built car you're going to get out there. I'm sorry, Ferrari, Lamborghini, and oh, forget McLaren, they don't even compare. These things, the fit and finish on these things, so the interior on it, uh, the fit and finish on it, it's 130% perfect. But for the look, and today in 2020, 21, we're just going to give it a six because it, the interior is not exciting. Uh, the same buttons are in the the thirty thousand dollar McCann. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's what I don't like. If you're going to buy a two, three, five hundred thousand dollar car, I don't want the same buttons in your thirty thousand dollar car. Right. And this car has the buttons from the lesser vehicles. Right. But now that, that's not why I gave it a seven. I gave it a seven. And the reason I gave it a seven was because. Well, the, the race seats at first sit are kind of comfortable. They're, they're pretty comfortable. Um, it's not sustainable for a long time. I mean, we drove the car for probably 45 minutes to an hour, and it gets a little uncomfortable. It's very bare bones, but this is to be expected. This is not a daily driving car. This is a race car. So Correct. I, I gave it a seven because, look, for a race car, it's pretty damn awesome. But for an everyday driver, a car that you can just crawl into and blast to Publix or you know, go to Best Buy or something, that's not what this is made for. No. So it's, it's my interior score is a seven. The exterior, to hit on what Jim was saying, I've never been a Porsche fan. To me, again, when I was a kid in the 80s, they looked the same. They've always looked the same with the exception of maybe some scoops and grills, and while this is well done and it looks dope and there's tons of carbon on it, right. it's still the same general shape as a 993, a 996, 997. Yeah. You know, so um, for me, I gave the exterior a seven where, I mean, it just doesn't compete in form with a 720S or even the 488 that we just did. Well, if you park in there a Lamborghini, you're gonna see some these are gonna it's gonna disappear forget what's under the hood if you just go based on looks that's a porsche it's just still <laughs> right? yeah i can put a the gt uh three rs next to it it's the same car it's the same car really but same it's car. a couple hundred grand right. less right right yeah, yeah. No, but, and they'd be like think about this think about this right you pull this up next to a, a, a group of school kids right oh it's a porsche great it just looks like a porsche with a giant body kit on it wild true car people know but this is all functional stuff. The scoops work. The carbon is there for weight. And like, like, like a true car guy would take a look at a GT2 RS or a GT3 RS and be like, sick car. But if you pull this car up and let's just say a Lamborghini Diablo to a group of school kids. Oh, you can get they, a Ferrari this, from well, this, the 80s and pull it up next to this car. You're going to look at the Ferrari. Of course. Especially the, if it's bright red. The car is going to disappear. So, and, I feel, and I feel bad giving it a seven because it is what it is. <laughs> But no, I like it. Hang on. I like it. It disappears. It disappears. It's a half a million dollars and it disappears at the $40,000 car next Gone. to it. Disappears. Gone. Now, Gone. if you're a Porsche guy, you'll just keep on looking at it because you're trying to figure out what you missed on the thing. But the thing is, you know, out of all the 911s, this is the best looking one. Oh, 100%. This is badass looking. 100%. The lights, I didn't realize they had two lights in it. The, the, it's, it's gotten wider. I think it's got much. Now, if I pull one from the 80s, this thing is much larger, but they've done it so slowly that you can't see the difference between one year or another. Now, if I put one from the 80s on here, it really looks like a Volkswagen that I promised you uh, sure. when you pulled out. Sure. <laughs> yeah. but, but again, so, so leading into what I was saying, right? Forget the exterior. What this car does... does. I mean, look, I mean, this, Makes is, you nauseous. this is a supercar world TV for, I gave this an 11. I yeah. mean, it is off the charts for excitement. I, I set, I opened the video and I opened the segment by saying, I feel like I cheated death. And I, it, we've been out of this car for probably 20 minutes now. Feel better? No, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to have nightmares about <laughs> driving this thing in the rain. It is, it's, it's unbelievable and you the only way to describe it is to put your ass in the seat of one of these things and drive it so i give it an 11 for excitement that is <laughs> it's off the charts man. well I, I gave it a nine 
And Nine? What are you, crazy? No, I gave it that because the way it looks. How exciting is the outside? I see. It's not exciting. It's got. It's not. You're it, right. It disappeared because you said so. It's still here, but it, it, I gave it a nine, and that's a great gift for me from, for Porsche. So uh, would you, you got a nine for excitement. A nine would for you, excitement, just because you, of the way it looks. What would you think about the sound? Well, I gave it an eight for the sound, and the reason why is that I always like the V12s. So yeah. if you're going to compare this to a supercar, would you believe it or not, they don't consider this a supercar. Do you know that? What? Yeah. I, I, well, it just kicks everyone's ass, but yeah, no, they don't consider no. it a supercar. And you get embarrassed by this car when you pull up with your uh, anything, any six, seven hundred thousand dollar Lamborghini, and this thing just eats you. No, so I mean, for I, I, I get it, man. This is kind of goes back to the the 488 uh, review as well. I'm a turbo guy. Like I love the noises these things make. And so again, I, call me a turbo homer, but I'm up 10 here. All right, it's just, it's even better. And I think, what did I give the, the front I got a, gave a nine to? Yeah. This is a 10 because it's just stupid. I gave it an eight, but for the exhaust for, for them, um, this one's got it right. My overall score, if we add all this stuff up, I ended up with a 55 out of 60. What'd you get? I got a 50. So 50 plus a 55 is, is 105. Yeah, what's a so 50, it's, it's a, a five five point what two five point two two stars. and a half yeah five point two and a half stars. Come on, Turbo guy, you can add these numbers up a little quicker. Uh, what do you think? Five five fifty two for for this. They gave it a fifty two. Bro, what's next? Well, um, let's just a surprise. What, wait, a couple valet shirts. What can we steal? I got a couple, a his and hers seven twenty S pair. Do they drive separate cars to dinner? Yeah. They do? Yeah. For, for breakfast. They Just, valet at breakfast yes. and we're going to take both cars. Yeah. So yeah. maybe, maybe next episode we'll have two, a his and hers 720 ass combo. And if we can't get those guys, we'll have oh, something so, special well, for well, you. Some, we have, well, a, we yeah. have a couple of things up our sleeve. A couple of customers come in that we can snatch their vehicle for the day. I mean, one thing about the couple, yeah. who's got the fastest car? That's going to do it for this episode. If you like the content, do please, us a favor, please crush that subscribe button, hit that thing because you know, this is what keeps us doing this guys. We want, we love feedback, love you to subscribe. Also click that alert button. Every time we release a new video, it'll boom, come right to your inbox. So you got it. Well, there's another great episode of supercar world TV. See you next time. See ya.